remember this is real cooking. If you don't like it, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> right, hi friends. Today we're going to do some dirty thighs on the barbecue. They're really, really easy. What we've got, we've got a bag full of these boned, boneless skinned thighs. Into there, I'm going to put a brine. So I'm going to put two whole tablespoons of, that, that wasn't quite a full one, so there you go. Two tablespoons of salt, kosher salt, Himalayan salt, whatever you've got. And I'm going to pour that in with the chicken. You always end up with this bit at the bottom. Give it a swill round. And uh, if you want to, off camera, if you're not making a YouTube vid, if you just get a little bit more water to get that bit out. Right, we'll leave that there. Then we're going to put some of these lemons in. Get yourself a sharp axe. <laughs> I've just cut myself as well, so I don't want to get lemon juice in there. I, I cut myself while I was sharpening the axe so that I could try and make an entertaining vid for you. But hey, what the fuck? Something like that! <laughs> right, you don't have to do it like this. You can do it sensibly. Look at that, Jack. Does that look good? Yeah. Ollie, yeah. come and hold this for me, mate, so it doesn't go all over, please. You know, the world stops for Ollie because he's very slow. Come on, grab hold of it. I am. Grab hold of that, thank you. Do you reckon I can sit it in the middle? Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but my axe is so blunt. There we go. Right, anyway, some people are interested in that. A lot of you probably aren't. So there you go. We've got three lemons, two tablespoons of salt, a pint of water. We're going to leave them for about two hours to just like absorb, well, to, to brine. The purpose of the brining is it makes it tenderizes the meat. It makes the meat able to retain more moisture during the cooking process because this is going to be done hot, direct, fast. You enjoy it, friends. Hang around. Right, we've actually had about three hours soaking this, uh, brining this chicken. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay it down in the pan. When you've got it laid out in a pan, or a plate, or whatever you want, put a good liberal sprinkle of garlic granules on. These thighs are going to be the dirtiest thighs you've ever seen. Down to there, I'm going to get some normal paprika. That means, by normal, I mean not smoked paprika. Plenty of. Then turn it round. Turn them round. And then hit them again with the same garlic and paprika. Man, these are good, aren't they, Jack? They How are. How many times have you had them? Twice? Yeah, twice. twice. Yeah, really good. Very rare that I cook chicken like this direct. Um, yeah, try to ignore the pig dogs. Hang on, the pig stick and the cheese dog. Right, let's put them on. So we're going direct. These are going to be direct all the time. And that's what's good about these. They cook fast, they cook hot. Oh man, we're going to sear them up both sides until they're basically cooked. Smell that? Can you smell it? Yeah. Isn't it good? Yeah. Love you, son. Love you too. There we go. Right, we'll just leave them cooking and we'll see what happens. Right, a couple of minutes have passed, but you can see that it's just starting to cook up nicely, getting a bit of colour on these thighs, these dirty thighs, like your mama's, covered in all sorts of goo and jism. Friends, we're going to keep cooking it until it's cooked. If you need to see it again, well, just rewind and press play again. <laughs> hey! Right, friends, you can see that these are cooked properly now. Because it's been so hot and direct, these are juicy still. But all that good flavour, some goodness. So we're going to start putting them into this dish. And now we've got some barbecue sauce. Use whatever kind you like. And we're gonna start tossing them. Toss the chicken in the sauce. Oh man. And we're gonna get them a good, good covering of barbecue sauce. Then we'll put them back on. Pig dog. Goodbye. Looking for more cheeky monkey. There'll be more coming, son. There'll be more coming. Toss them about, get them a good coat, and then we'll slap them back on. Just, I'll just toss them like this. Keep turning them over. And get 
cakes in it, don't they, Jack? They do. Right, you can see we've got a good, good coating on there. Toss them back direct. We're going to set this barbecue sauce now, and we're going to have some good eating. Look at that, my friends. You can see that that barbecue sauce is set beautifully on there. Let's start getting some of these guys off. We've got the expensive plate, Amy, let me keep. Thanks, Ames. Along with my coffee cup and my children. <laughs> Right, here we go. Right, so in the meantime, some eagle-eyed viewers, I don't know if we mentioned it, I think we probably did, may have noticed some uh, cheese dogs. Some patented real cooking cheese dogs just knocking about. So we're having these on the side. They can go on while we munch. They can see. We want some chicken. Me! Yeah. Um, um, come on. It's ready. Mum. Mmm. 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 So you do get, you still get that citrusy lemony from the brine. The salt, it's already salted from the brine as well. The garlic and the paprika, my good lord, friends, if you want something that's easy and quick, forget the brining. Don't even brine it if you don't want. Just do them dirty. Sling them on, sear them hot, garlic, paprika, and then barbecue them up. My good lad. But the brining does make them extra, extra juicy. Then, mmm. If you want it, Jack's coming his head in and say, come on, Dad, we want to get in. You want a good barbecue, friends? You do yourself some dirty thighs. Doll it up with some of these cheese dogs and pig sticks. Bye bye, friends. I hope you enjoyed today's installment of Real Cooking. Bye bye, friends. Don't forget to share what far and wide, because that fake, that fake real cooking is still taking the limelight. <laughs>